you're going to start with copy paper and then or just computer paper and then a gray piece of paper they're about the same size um, the white paper is what you're cutting the buildings out of so just start about halfway up the page drawing a line imagining that these are buildings you also can draw the buildings themselves but no details on this white paper with pencil so i'm going to start by drawing a building here maybe i'll draw one kind of up and sloped and funky like that then i'm going to do one a little bit taller maybe a little wider none of your buildings should go to the top of the paper because we need to have room for sky up here then maybe I'll put this one down low and maybe it'll be a little, I don't know what that is. And then this next one will be a weird stair one. And it's, um, I'm imagining it kind of going off the page. Then you're going to cut this out. When you cut this out, I would start by, instead of cutting each little zigzag out or each detail out like this, I would start by finding the tallest points and cutting straight across. Okay, then you can go back in and cut these straight lines. And I'm actually going to ignore that and just cut from here and then straight across like that. So instead of moving your hand all around and turning the paper and cutting and all that stuff cut a line and then meet the other like your slice line so i've cut right here and i'm going to come from the edge of the paper and cut straight across okay this is important especially with these if you have any small little details like this little flap here it's a lot easier for me to just cut straight out like that instead of constantly turning my wrist if you want to do it that way that's not wrong i'm just trying to save you time and teach you a new technique so i've got this piece i think it almost like a tooth it's wiggly let me just cut that line off all right after you get everything cut out you're going to glue it to the gray paper Use your stick glue for this. If you have any pencil marks, you can either erase it or um, leave it because you'll probably cover it up anyway. You don't need to put glue in the middle and all over. Your glue should go right around the outside. I see so many of you just putting glue in the middle and then sticking it down. That might be fine for word study activities um, where the ends can flop up, but that is not okay for art class. So line, after you get your glue in there, line it up at the bottom. Go slow for this. This is tricky to get it all lined up. You might have to kind of adjust it a couple times, and that is totally okay. But I would line up the bottom, slide it all the way down, and then stick it. And you want to massage it. So I would flip it over and give it a good massage. If anything is hanging off, you could always go back and trim that little bit if it's going to bother you. Don't trim from the front, though. The back is going to let you see what is actually hanging off because of that gray, the difference between the gray paper and the white paper. All right. Now, flip your paper back over. 